Slack attack. Hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, uh, let's do this thing. We're going to go back to sea and we're going to take on the prizes and plunder mission. And this is pretty much a cakewalk if you've already been doing some free roaming. Free, ro free roaming over the raging seas. Basically, our objective is to plunder a schooner. And if you've been following this whopper, you've already done that lots of times with a non-upgraded jackdaw. Now our jackdaw is upgraded with mortar. So, Hornby, or Harney B, or whatever your name is, tell us all about, tell us all about this mission. Morning, Kenway. Not a bad looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Horny gold, okay. Is it angry? <laughs> Cause mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. All right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! Find us a schooner with that spyglass, Kenway. You'll get yourself a glimpse of what sort of cargo they're shipping, and a general idea of their toughness. You won't find nothing squinting into the sun like that. Use your glass. Got one. There's a prize worth taking. Good! Okay, there's not going to be much room for commentary in this one, because these guys are babbling away. Pretty sure it's this one there. There's a schooner. There we go. Take us in close. After you subdue a frogs. speed, Scotty. Project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. Okay, we are within mortar range. Let's just do this guy in. Quick and easy. Done and done. <laughs> oh, did you love mortar? <laughs> Everybody shut up. The job is already done. Now look at these guys. And land a few strikes if you must. Take but for God's sake, don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Yeah, yeah, way ahead of you, Although Horny Gold. It's already incapacitated. incapacitated. Sail as you can. She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Lay up alongside her. Okay, now we have an optional objective. We have to kill three... Bad guys with the swivel gun. We've been following the swap through. Probably have lots of practice doing that already. There we go. Definitely got the optional objective. Hey! Que tengo un buen día, senor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you own. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English. Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods, and we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? <laughs> Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Lock them in the <laughs> hole and take intense. everything that isn't nailed down.
Now, I forgot to mention another optional objective for this mission is to plunder 20 rum. And if you've been following that walker, you already have that on board because we did lots of rum plundering earlier on. Okay, and we have the option to repair the jack dial. That's the only option available at this moment. We take today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size, and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a prize that'll set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, you just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Uh oh. <laughs> and is there anything on this little island here? Just an animus fragment. That's a gunboat. Could do some more bull shark. Uh, here's a schooner right there. Hey, here's an idea. Let's just go straight for the objective. El Mosquito. <laughs> Gotta love it. Hey, let's talk about swords. What do you think is the best sword in the game? And, um... What about all these stats like combo and damage and speed? I mean, personally, I always beat the game with the original British Cutlasses. Uh, anybody who knows a good amount of counter killing and kill streaking, anybody, if anybody's mastered that, I really don't see what's the point in buying better swords. I have yet to see any really s significant difference in any of the swords, and I bought all the swords too. I would say maybe the officers' rapiers, okay, they're really fast and they got a good combo stat on them. I, I guess there's a bit of a difference there, but uh, I don't know, not much that I could say, okay, these are really kick-ass and I'm going to spend 8,000 or 12,000 or 14,000 on these, I don't know, post a comment. And I'd like to see somebody explain how the combo stat really comes into We're play. For land. Oops. <laughs> in combat, like in real combat, without just regurgitating what it says in the game guide, okay? Because I have yet to find any decent explanation as to how, you know, the combo stat really comes into play in the game. And I know what it means too. It means like the higher the stat, like I said, you know, I've read the game guide. It says the higher the stat, the lower the number, of, the less number of hits it takes before you get the finishing move. Uh, whatever the fuck that means in terms of actually fighting in the game, I have yet to figure out. Okay, let's discuss this. All right. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we have to buy the intermediate hull. ¿En qué le puedo ayudar? Now another thing here. The game is going to sucker, sucker you into rushing out into the Raise the Black Flag mission without buying any other upgrades. Right now, it makes it appear like this is the only upgrade, upgrade you can get. That is just simply not true, alright? Buy the intermediate hull upgrade, confirm, and then it rushes you right back out to sea to take on the Raise the Black Flag mission, giving you the impression that you can't buy any other upgrades. And at that point, you're taking on level 17 Briggs with only potentially only the intermediate hull upgrade and you don't have to do that there we go 100% memory sync for that
Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As okay. you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three... Check your hole there, horny gold. Yeah, okay, now, what the game is doing is it's sucking you, sucking you into rushing out and doing the Raise the Black Flag mission. You don't have to do this. What you can do is just simply quit the memory. Okay, exit memory. We'll be back on the docks. Now, you can go, go buy more upgrades. Talk to the Harbor Master. And if you get this screen, just I just press the enter button. See, <laughs> you can play upgrades. So whatever the enter button, I'm, I'm on the PC version, whatever the equivalent of the enter button is on Xbox or PlayStation, somebody posts a comment, and you can buy upgrades. Yeah, when I first played this game, I did the only, I went into the raise the black flag mission with only the intermediate hull upgrade, and it was hell. It, you know, it even says in the game guide, don't try to take on level 17 Briggs unless you've got at least this, 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 and this. And I'm going, how the fuck do you get this, 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 and this if you can't, you know, if like these upgrades aren't available to, to buy? And then I finally figured out, oh, you know, just quit the memory and da 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 da. And I figured out all this other stuff. And like I explained earlier, right? So um, let's start buying some upgrades. Let's buy some RAM. I don't use RAM that much. Then I'm going to buy it just for posterity. And that's all the upgrades we can get without using metal. We don't have any metal yet. Uh, round shot strength. We got lots of cash. So let's start spending it. That's what we're just saving it for. Crank up round shot strength. Spend another 12,000. Why not? Can't take it with you. Chain shot strength. Let's hold off on that. What else can we get? Mortar storage. Definitely want that. Lots of mortar. Mortar is fun. <laughs> Especially for those big ships. Got that. Uh, fire barrels. I don't really use them much. How much have we got left? 14,000. Okay, so uh, heavy shot storage. Um, heavy shot is not something I use a lot either. So let's go for fire barrel strength. Okay, that's maxed out except for elite. Chain shot strength. Uh, let's see. And cargo storage. Yeah, let's buy some chain shot strength. Another 6,000, uh, getting low on the money here. That was probably a waste because I'm not going to max out my cargo for a while, but what they will get that. And uh, finally, um, what was I thinking of buying there? I think I pretty much got everything. Yeah, everything that we can buy without the chain sausage. This is what I wanted to buy. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Down to 763 reals. Now we're ready to do the next mission. Okay? That's what you can do before you go out and take on the Raise the Black Flag mission. You can get all those upgrades. Yeah, so that's nice. See why I was stockpiling all that money there. All right? There was a method to my madness. All right? And that is it. Coming up next video, we're going to take on the Raise the Black Flag mission. Let's start taking on these badass breaks and a hunter ship. 
I would like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video.